Hey, what's up everyone? David from ClickTrack Marketing here. Today I'm going to show any business exactly how to show up in the Google Maps campaign without wasting a bunch of money on the display network or some other areas. We're going to really focus all of our efforts to show up in the maps. So here we're going to take uh, Brandon Wasilewski. Uh, he goes by Lewski, uh, the realtor, and we're going to show him how to do that step by step. So we will walk you through within you know, about 20 minutes, start to finish, building a Google Maps campaign using your Google Business Profile and Google Ads. Again, the value behind this is not a lot of businesses are doing this. You don't have to have a bazillion reviews with the best rating, and you can get yourself on the front page. I do this for restaurants, bars, coffee shops, local businesses, plumbers near me, electricians near me, realtor near me, every single type of business you can think of you can run a five to ten dollar a day to fifteen dollar a day low budget campaign and get some really good results because we're going to link the business profile to google maps you're going to get people that end up going right to there and they have an option to either go to your website which most of the time website sucks and you can't convert very well or just call you which is amazing for realtors but more importantly for restaurants and bars and coffee shops we're going to catch people while they're on the go and we're going to track their clicks for directions so first step, who are you selling to? What are they searching for? That's going to be the keywords. You can use the keyword planner. You can go to Google search yourself. You'll see that local services show up. There's some maps. There's paid search and there's organic search. Once again, we're going to be right under that local services depending on your vertical. And we're going to help you get more calls, clicks for directions, website visits, whatever your goal is. We can do this through this Google Maps campaign. So hang in there. Uh, watch till the end. If you get some value, just please like and subscribe. And we're going to put out a bunch more videos just sharing all of the knowledge that I learned after working at Google for three years, working with multiple agencies for years, working at software companies, B2B companies, and then eventually starting my own click track marketing. We're here to help, especially SMBs because I grew up in a small business. But what we're going to do here, let's get jump right in. Go to your Google Ads account, ads.google.com, log in. Now you're going to make sure that you need to have a verified business profile and you're going to link that profile to your Google account. But you can do that just by using the same email that you've had. So first step, click the blue dot. We're going to build this campaign. I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube where they're just like going to the location assets. This is the correct way if you want to go straight to the point and get on the maps. Just say create goal without guidance and then go to smart campaign. Now, typically, I don't recommend smart campaigns except for the maps because it's so powerful. We usually do custom search campaigns, everything else. So instead of clicking the no, don't use this info, we're going to go, yes, use this info and see how it's already linked. He just used the same email. So we're instead of going to your website, which is pointless because most of the time it doesn't convert well, we're going to use that Google business profile. It's simple. People see the reviews. They see your name and they can click the call now or click for directions. If I'm driving around in my car looking for a coffee shop near me, guess what? I find you on Google, I'm going to click for directions. Guess what? I'm spending money at your place. So how does this not make sense for every single business to do this? I'm not sure I'm still spreading the word. I'm running local SEO campaigns. We're doing Google Maps campaigns. We're doing all kinds of stuff. So just watch the video for a restaurant or bar, click on the get more clicks to your physical location. That'll be the clicks for directions for realtors or someone that plumbers, they want calls, locksmiths, get more calls. Those are the objectives, the main advertising goal. Again, I'm super pumped on these ads. They're cr absolutely crushing it for all my clients. This is one of the first things we do, especially for the smaller restaurants, bars, and coffee shops is because they need to get those quick wins and I can guarantee new people show up and every single time, the owners are calling me saying, hey, we're seeing new people in within days of you launching this campaign. So it's very worth it. And we're typically running a low budget because they don't have that much to spend, 5 to $10 a day. Now, the next step after the keyword research is getting your messaging down. Now, you have to make it sound professional, but you need to stand out a little bit, but you also need to relate to the keywords. So you can't get too fancy and be obscure. We're going to say typically, you know, just follow along with what I'm typing in here. We went over a few different options. Google's going to have uh, some algorithm, you know, automated AI stuff in there. And most of the time it's OK, but it's not great. You want to maximize your character length. You want to show what you do, your name, your offer. Uh, and then, of course, the descriptions have like a, you know, 
call us and call us today to schedule your uh, consultation or whatever your offer is. Or if it's a restaurant or bar, again, we're going to go for those clicks for directions. So we're just going to fill this ad out because at times it will show up in search. But most of the time, we're going to be that sponsored ad in Google Maps that no one else knows about. So you're going to have a huge competitive advantage. And again, you're going to get more people to your restaurant without breaking, you know, an arm and a leg here. And without breaking the bank. So yeah, keep going. Just write a few headlines, a few descriptions, and you got to pick the correct keywords. So in this example, it's going to be realtor near me, real estate agent in your area, and just you know get like seven to ten of those keywords. Uh, for restaurants, I love doing just restaurant, coffee shop, coffee shop near me, best coffee shop, uh, restaurant near me, best coffee, best restaurant near me, sushi restaurant, like whatever type of restaurant you're working with, you can do that as well. But remember, like restaurants taco shop, Mexican restaurant, all of those show up a ton in the search. So you can actually use the keyword planner and then drill down into your city to get the exact search volume. Use that as an estimate to put in the top ranking keywords and you're gonna outrank your competitors without having to have 4 million reviews uh, at a 5.6 review rating. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the thing I dislike about local services by Google, uh, I actually, I worked on the team for a year and it was, completely disappointing how they don't rotate through the people that have gone you know hand over fist work so hard to be able to do the licensing the background check it's a pain in the ass to set up and they don't rotate they just basically put the top review person with the highest rating and the number at the top so they get all the calls right so they're they're slam they're hiring left and right and you got all these people below like the rank four or five six seven and beyond and they barely get any calls so again, that's what I dislike about local services. If you have a lot of reviews and you've had your business profile for a long time, that's a big advantage for you and it might be worth it. If you've got three reviews and you're a locksmith and it's a rating of 3.5, you're never going to get a call. Uh, you need to get a ton more reviews and a bit better rating. So that's why I love focusing on the maps with the sponsored ad because you're going to show up a lot higher. Uh, we're going to work on these descriptions and then we're going to just continue on to the next step. You'll hit publish. All that good stuff. So let's kind of get cruising here. All right. So fill out the descriptions. Move to the next step. All right. So here we've got the keyword theme. So you definitely need to put in the most relevant, highly searched keywords in your area. For the type of offer that you have again this is a real estate agent so real estate agent near me real estate agent the city real estate agent Ventura whatever it is uh, put those all in there and you're gonna move to the next step super simple okay here we're at the final step go ahead and review the campaign if everything looks good you can simply edit the headline you click on that little pencil icon you can edit the campaign name for example I like to do what it is so it's a Google Maps campaign we're going for calls and the month that we launched it so April 2024 so Google underscore Maps underscore campaign underscore calls underscore April 2024 that's a easy naming convention if someone joins my team and they go in and take a look at this account and, and audit it they know exactly what we're going for it's a maps campaign going for calls and we launched it then well, let's take a look. It's two months later. Let's go optimize it, change some things, add some negatives. So the biggest thing is you're just going to review it. You're going to click next. And then you will, within the first week or so, need to go back in and double check the search terms. The search terms are what people actually search that Google lines up with the keywords that you chose for this campaign. If they are way off, for example, it's a sushi restaurant and you're trying to sell real estate, uh, you need to make sure to add that as a negative. Sometimes you will get some crazy searches in there that you don't want to show up for. Uh, whatever it is, just check the keywords, right? That's your what you've entered. But then click on the search terms toggle, and that's going to give you an idea of which people, uh, what search terms are making your ad show up. And again, that's what, exactly what people search. Google doesn't show you all of them, but they'll give you a rough estimate of you know here, here are the search terms that you're showing up for that they've aligned with your ad and your keywords and if it sucks go ahead and hit negative 
And if you need to change some keywords, you can also edit it. If you're a restaurant or bar and you only want people to show up when you're open, just click on the section where it does uh, business hours. And instead of hitting business hour, custom hours or whatever, you're going to actually hit your business hours. So if you're open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., it'll just show up during those times so you don't waste your budget at midnight when you guys are already closed. Uh, so there's tech, there's different um, pictures you can add. So you can add a few photos and a logo. Again, this is mostly going to show up in Maps. So what's cool about this is that you're not going to waste a bunch of money on random search search terms or whatever or pay extra, but you will show up for some of these really cheap, ex inexpensive clicks that will lead to clicks for directions, people showing up, or clicks to calls. And you can see how many calls you get, which is cool. So if you're smart and you work with someone like me or an agency or you have your own software and system installed, we use a software that has a tracking number included. So we're going to set up the tracking number so we know a thousand percent that these campaigns are driving calls and we can even record the calls, add them in the CRM in the system. We can add a missed call text back and follow up. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the software that we use, I'll put a link in the description. You can click to sign up for a 14 day free trial. If you use that link and you're like, hey, this is pretty badass, but I'm confused, reach back out to me and our team will help you get that set up. So you can either be a business owner or you can sell to business owners. You can make money off of just selling uh, the software, getting them set up with the simple tracking number, link to their profile, getting them more calls into the system and add a chat widget and you can make 200 bucks a month, right? So you do that 10 times, you got 2000 bucks a month. You do that 20 times, you got, you know, you're just starting to crush it. So it's super easy. Everyone needs it uh, again. So he's going to add a few photos here. Not a big deal. We're going to show up a lot on the maps and you'll probably have some on your computer. So just grab the best photos, the images, throw your logo on there and hit publish. And you're going to have a sweet maps campaign that's going to outperform all these other local businesses that aren't using this for a third of the cost of normal because it's not a search click that you're paying for or a search call. It's a maps and it's still cheap. There's one other thing that I don't understand, and maybe they'll figure it out one day, is why does an Apple Maps have a, a have a map search campaign uh, or maps campaign for Apple Maps? Because I like Apple Maps. I know a lot of people go to Google. I know a lot of people go to Yelp. So, But Google's still one of the biggest, and this is why I highly recommend it. And I do it for almost every account. No matter how large or small, we're going to run a maps campaign just to make sure that we show up in that sponsored section. So I hope you found value from this video. Again, please like and subscribe, share the video with other business owners, and if you need help further with marketing because there's about a thousand things you need to do, and again, once you get in the search campaigns, you got to set up the tracking properly, we got to have a call tracking number, you got to have the forms embedded, you got to have your GA4 set up, you got to have your search console, site, sub site map submitted, if you want to show up in search, you got to have your SEO optimized, there's just so much to do. But this is the easiest thing that you can do if you're just starting out or you've been around for a long time and you're like, hey, how does everyone do this maps campaign? This is the actual right way. I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube. So if you like this one the most, add a comment, like it, and YouTube will start pushing this at the top. I'll do my best to optimize it with the best keywords, the best title, everything like that. And we actually have a YouTube optimization checklist that I'm happy to share with you. So if you're interested, just drop a comment in the below and say, send me the YouTube checklist. I'll send that over for you. And again, thanks so much for watching. We will be in touch. I hope your campaigns crush it for you. And if you can reach me at clicktrackmarketing.com. All right. And my email is david at clicktrackmarketing.com. Have a great day.